Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will implement a fingerprint authentication feature into our app. You know what a fingerprint authentication is, right? Nowadays, every smartphone has a fingerprint lock screen. You simply add your fingerprints and use it to unlock your screen. The same thing can be done for an app lock screen or app login, right? In banking apps, we use passwords and biometric fingerprints to log in. Likewise, we will create an app. This is our app lock screen or you can say app login screen. Now to enter the home screen of the app, you have to use your fingerprint. So I scan my finger at the fingerprint sensor. This looks blank due to privacy reason while mirroring the device. But here we are. Welcome to the home screen. Simple, right? However, we won't add or save any fingerprints. We will use existing fingerprints that are saved in your device. Like in your settings, you add biometric fingerprints, right? That's exactly what we will use. Got it? Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Create a new empty views activity. Name of the project. My fingerprint app. Also, if you want me to create the same feature in Jetpack Compose, then let me know in the comments. And finish. Now to implement this feature, we will use Biometric Prompt API. So add its dependency in Build Creator. Also, my Compile SDK and Target SDK are 35. Now click on Sync Now. And done. Then next, go to Android Manifest. We need two permissions. The first is use biometric permission and the second is use fingerprint permission. Now fingerprint permission comes with its baggage that is hardware access 2 which is basically a fingerprint sensor. So ask for it too and then. Next our main activity will be our login screen. This is where the fingerprint authentication will happen. So we need a new activity that will act as our home screen. This is the home screen. This is where the main content of the app is, which you can access if your fingerprint matches. For simplicity, we will just add a text view here in activity home XML, which says welcome to the home screen. That's all. That's what our main content is. Now go to activity main. Here we will design a biometric login screen. First, add a vector asset of a fingerprint into the drawable folder. And done. Now create a vertical linear layout. Keep the gravity center. Inside, we will create an image view with a fingerprint drawable. Then below it, create a button whose ID is Login Fingerprint Button. And its text says Login with Fingerprint. And that's it. Our fingerprint login screen is ready. Now it's time to write the logic for it. So go to Main Activity. Here we will write logic for two things. The first is to check if the user's device has biometric authentication available or not. The second is to write the logic for fingerprint authentication. So let's start. Declare and initialize the login fingerprint button. Now to check if biometric authentication is available or not, we will use biometric manager. This class provides information about fingerprint or face biometrics. So when biometric manager can authenticate biometric strong means if biometric is available, then biometric success. And that's when we set on click listener on login fingerprint button. 
Here inside it, when the user clicks the button, the authentication process will begin to check if the fingerprint matches or not. But we will write that code separately as the authenticate user function later. Now, what if the biometric is not available? Like no hardware or hardware unavailable or fingerprints not enrolled. Then display the toast as biometric authentication not available. Then write the code for authenticate user function to check if the fingerprint matches or not. First, we create an executor which tells the app on which thread the authentication callbacks will run. In this case, we we'll use the main thread because we'll be updating UI elements like toast messages. Next, we create a biometric prompt instance. This is the main class that handles the fingerprint authentication. It takes three parameters, the current context, the executor, and an authentication callback. Inside this callback, we will handle three important scenarios. First, if the authentication is successful, meaning if the fingerprint matches, we show a success toast as fingerprint matched login successful. And move the user to the home screen. Second scenario. If the authentication fails, meaning the fingerprint is incorrect, we simply show a toast saying fingerprint not matched login failed. Then in the third scenario, if an error occurs like sensor error or too many attempts or when the user cancels the scan, throw an error toast. After that, we configure the prompt UI using biometric prompt API prompt info dot builder. Here we set the title as biometric authentication, the subtitle as use fingerprint to access the app and the negative button text as cancel. And finally we call authenticate the prompt info. This code launches the fingerprint dialog on the screen. In some devices if the default fingerprint prompt doesn't appear then this dialog box will appear. And that's it. Our fingerprint authentication is ready. Now let's run the app. This is what it looks like. So to enter the home screen, I log in with my fingerprints. Their device is using the default prompt as shown on the screen. Look, the fingerprint matches. I'll try a different fingerprint which is not registered on this device. And see, recognition failed. Look how easy it was, right? Try adding this feature into your existing app to keep it secure. Okay? So yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.